Okay, guys, being here. Um, previously, we did this exercise. So we used mess with uh, adaptive family to create uh, something like this. Okay, so um, today let's try uh, some uh, a different approach. So um, we are going to model one of these box and just stack them together, and we try. Let's try to use a Dynamo. Okay, so now first, let's create a new family. So uh, it will be generic model. Okay, so just generic model. So, okay, so what I'm going to do is I'll just draw uh, to a summer reference plan and dimension equal dimension so this will be the length. So let's just call it uh, create a parameter. Let's call it L, and uh, it will be instance parameter. So let's go to front view. So create a, param a reference plan, and this will be the height. Okay. So let's call it a, a height, and I'll use a type. So go to floor plan again. So Actually, I'm going to just use a height because uh, I wanted to make it a rectangular, uh, uh, yeah, rectangular shape uh, from the side. So, um, yeah, that's that's it. So now we can create ex extrusion from this. Okay, so and lock them onto the reference plans and go to front view and finish. Drag this onto the reference plan and lock. So now we have a. Uh, Extrusion so the box, uh, uh, what do we call this? <laughs> Rectangular shape. <laughs> okay, so it can be no, a jack, or oh, not this one, sorry. This one, huh? No, uh, what's going on here? Yeah, so it can, you know, it can change the shape, it can change the length. So now what we're going to do is we're going to place this family into a project and try to use Dynamo to control the length of them. Okay, so new project and go back to this family, load this into the project. I'll just place it. Uh, I'll place. You can use a space bar to rotate it. Okay, so I'll place it here. So now I'm going to array it. So maybe a uh, ten of them. Oh, sorry. AR. Just change this to sec second. Okay, so and ten of them. Okay, so now go to elevation and then let's array them again. So ten. So we have one hundred of them. So. Now, what I want to do is, well, first, I want to ungroup them, and once again, ungroup them. So select all, SA, select all, and ungroup. So now they are all individual families. So, um, uh, looks, uh, hang on. So we don't have that control, the, the handle, because we, we, in the family, we place the parameter onto reference plan. If if so, I'll just <coughs> show you a little trick here. Okay, so if I delete this reference plan, instead if I draw a reference line he here, okay, so I'll just draw it. Uh, I'll just draw it here, and then do a dimension. So from this here to here, and align this the shape to this reference line, and use that uh, L. Okay, so now if I load this back into the project and in 3D view and go to 3D view, you will see see this handle. Okay, so this will be quite useful because uh, otherwise you can only use that handle in uh, plan view or elevations. But this way, if you use reference line, you can uh, adjust them in 3D view as well. Okay, so now we need to bring out the Dynamo. Okay, so go. Let's go to Manage Dynamo, and um, okay, it's here. 
So now I just want to just okay. So have okay first new. So first we need to select all these. Okay, so we need to. So the idea is I wanted to get a a list of dimension, a list of length. I'll use the some. So when I first try this, I tried. Uh, this is for my first idea. I'll just show you. Okay, so my first idea is uh, model in place a mass because use mass we can create a shape, a, a organic shape. So for example, something like this. I'll just create reference line spline. Okay, and then we can just go to elevation, copy them up and multiple of them, and we can select them, create a face, create a form. And then we can adjust this the points so we can have an organic shape form. Okay, so you will see something like this. And this is my first idea. I can create a, a form and then somehow get a dimension between this to this form. But because my I'll just finish this one. Let me change it to shade to see if it can be. Or maybe I'll just give it a material instead. So I'll create a new material. Uh, I'll use a color for it, and make sure it's not solid. Oh, sorry, not it's not transparent. And then yeah. So this is my first idea. I want I want I try to use this, but I can't figure out how to get a dimension between the family to this mass because what I Get is a point. So when I try to get the the location of the map, I'll show you. So, okay. So first, we need to create a, a a list of all the location of these families. So what I did is I used. So this is the most straight away. Uh, sorry, not straightforward. Um. Here, so select model element. So let me just change this to a menu for now. So select and select all these family. So this will give us a list of all these families. So we will see 100 of them. Okay, so the next step is we need to, uh, let, let me just drag this out first because we, we're going, we need to this one. So this is select a single element. And if I run, it tells me this is one element, the mass. So next step is we need to get a, a, a location. Okay, so um, I think it's about it's I think it's here um, points. Uh, maybe not here. Um, not sure. <laughs> Let me search. Okay, so uh, location. So what I need is a family location. So get a location. I think what's this one element? Try let's try this. So if I link this one element element uh, get location run okay so you will see it gives us this location so if i um if i go here and it's uh, how do i do this uh, oh yeah so see all these points these are the location of those families and also you can see you can actually see it in Revit. so if i ro you rotate the here so this is a base point. So remember when you model this family, so this is the original, you know, point X, Y, Z. This is the base uh, origin origin point of this family. So this is the location of this. And so, but if I, when I control C, control V, when I try to get the location of this mass, it's actually gives us a point here. Okay, so and then um, okay, so let me just uh, finish this one. So the next step is I want to get the um, the, the the distance. So I uh, distance how to spell this? Hell, um, yeah, it's. Uh, Geometry. 
this turn. There are, yeah, I think it should be this one. Okay, so obtain the distance from, yeah, let's try, let's try this one. Okay, geometry, yes, geometry, other, uh, not sure what that is, but let's try. Okay, so looks like, yes, so you will see we get a list of distance, so from 8 meter, so roughly, so or most of the 8 meter, because it actually calculates the distance from this point, these points, to this one. So when I play, give these, so now what I'm going to do is I want to set parameter, okay, so set a parameter. And I'll, I want to set the these parameter to back to the length of that those family. So let me just so that's L. I'll double click, quote L, and link this to parameter name and element. Link back to element. Okay, so make sure you link back to element, not geometry. And the value link this to here. And if I click run, so it was all these family because become it's relative to this point, not this mass. So this is um, I I couldn't figure out. I think there must be a way to calculate the from this point to the face to the surface of this. That would be the best option, I believe. So if you know how to do it, please let me know. <laughs> I'm still learning. So if I move this wrong, yeah, still, so you will see if I move this mass to here, so this is the actual uh, location of the mass. Okay, so it looks like this doesn't, it, it looks okay, looks nice, but this is not what we uh, uh, the result we expected. So uh, let's just delete this mess. So instead, I'm going to try something different. Okay. So what I'm going to do is I'll go to ground floor. So now we are looking from the top, and then what I want to do is I'll just create a reference plan. I'll draw a reference plan here, and then I'll just give it a name and then go back to 3D view. So now I want to use a model line. So model line, and then I want to use this reference plan. Okay, so now I'm in 3D view, drawing, uh, 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 try to draw a spline. So roughly here, I know the reference plan is roughly here, so I'll just draw it something like this. Okay, so now like this. Oops, uh, where is it? Yeah, it's still there, I think. So let me change it to wireframe WF. Okay, so it looks like this model line is roughly in the middle. Okay, and then here, go back to Dynamo. So select, so we need to select element. Select element, select this model line. So try to pick this model line and run. Okay, so now this time, change to shade SD so you will see now Rev is calculating the distance between the point to the model line can you see so now if you change the line so for example um, uh, hang on. I change the wireframe uh, so if you change the, line, the shape of this model line, oh, yeah. tab, tab, and it will also change change the shade, run. It will also change the, see? And uh, I think, um, Okay, let's try some, uh, one more, okay, one more. Uh, let's go to west. So we're going looking at the side. So 
what we do is we're going to rotate this reference. Let's try rotate this reference plan because we know that we have a model line on this reference plan. And if I rotate this, rotate this reference plan, it will also rotate the reference. Oh, sorry, the model line. So now go back to 3D view. So you will see the model lines now like here. So if let me just move this back a little bit. It's still roughly in the center of this box and Let's try it again. So if I click on run, so now you will see um, these the length of this box are now relative to the distance between the point to the model line. Okay, so yeah, it, there's some limitation because for this model line, they, it can only be draw in a plan. It can't be you know three-dimensionally, um, you know, um, like the one in the mass, but at least, at least uh, it works, it works, it works, it's better than the, the mass phase, but it would be best if we can figure out how to use that mass. So um, if, if, if you know how to do it, please let me know. Okay, so that's it. Um, very uh, it's quite simple. So basically, get to uh, get location, element get location, and then geometry distance, and then just set a parameter. Okay. So thank you for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye.